Hey, welcome to SOC Outdoors. Out here in Freeland, it's the walleye opener in the section of the river here. Um, big festival going on, a lot of stuff. We're gonna just shore fish for a little while. Kind of a last minute decision. Didn't get out bright and early, but went and grabbed a few things, some smaller jig heads, and we're gonna drop in. See what we can, we're right here in town. We'll shore fish here. If we get on them, we do. If not, we'll move around or call it a day. Just another way to do some fishing where it doesn't take a lot. You don't have to have a big boat and a bunch of money, a couple rods and some jigs, and you're good to go. All right, let's put new line on. You know what, Josh? It's colder than I told myself it was gonna be. What, son? It's gone forever. This is hell. Got a DNR officer down here checking licenses. Which is a great great thing everybody's being cooperative <laughs> what are you like five years older than me see there it is right there bringing the luck I just had a bite when and I was like I better take a break not bad those are good eaters yeah. yep. the big 30s were non-existent yeah no they're done they dropped five. yep yeah I might go a little brighter Got a snag. I knew I'd get him eventually. Got it off. Bent the hook a little bit. A lot of people on the riverbank. Quite a few boats. Change it up again. Making it just a little shorter because I feel like they're biting the tail. not our target species you got over there. Yeah, I was just over there. I decided against it. Good idea. You guys doing any good? Yeah. I just got down here. You just walk up there with you? Yeah. Yep, if you go down by those two trail or right there. Are you getting them? I just got here a little bit ago. I feel like I got a couple bites and still just playing around figuring out what to use. Oh, 
Well, I keep losing the paddles, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. Losing the paddles? Yeah. Paddle. I know. So I'm biting them off and making them shorter. You're not feeling it tall, girl. That's not enough. I am. But I thought I was hitting like weeds or some sticks or something. I must be getting a little bite. Well, we yeah, yep. Actually, the one pad. When they just, when they go, like yep. That and and you're, you've been talking along the bottom all along. All right. Hey, you brought us lunch. <laughs> Man, we didn't know Burger King was closed. Really? Yeah. I didn't know either. I parked right there. No, it's not open. Didn't even pay attention. Open. Open. Down. Wow. Hey, I got my jig back that I lost. Nice. That's a win right there. And it's less bent up than the one I caught it with. So the one I just lost is right here. Yeah, it's kind of a nice little hole right there. Sort of where you had hooked into that walleye too. It was a nice fish. I I had a good look at it. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Two in a row. Good thing I brought the pliers to bend all my hooks back. Well, that was pretty. I'm probably going to be a pliers. Oh, you scared me. Huh? I almost hit you. You stood up. I was casting over top of you. Hey, I caught a sucker. Caught one big ass sucker. You're back in business. Watch you bing one first cast. I'd That'd take awesome. that. That'd be awesome. Okay. Wasn't on camera, thought it was, but I had this jig hooked to a log. I brought the stick in. Here's the stick. I brought in this jig, so I'm going to use it just like she is. There is a swivel on it. I took the swivel off. Yeah, we just got to learn how to do it. Well, we got to figure what they want. They want to get eaten. Well, God damn it. I'm going to throw my gold one back on. I only casted this one like three times before I lost it, so... Ooh, we can be warm now. See if that would stay, which it looks like it might for a little bit. Well, I'm dredging all the weeds out of this river today. I know that this gold jig head is going to be pretty much just lead by the end of this one. <laughs>
Ooh, that might have been a miss. All right. Only got a couple more casts left in this jig head, I think. <laughs> pretty. No paint, and pretty much every time I bring it in, I gotta bend it back. <laughs> I'm gonna try something silly. It's only silly if you don't try it, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna get this out. You know what? If we get this out and ready. There's a problem. I know. That's the bad dude. We actually brought it. Now, if we left it in the trunk. We're at home. We throw one fish on the shore going, you know, we need to go get that. God dang thing. You're right. You were right. When you go fish, you can't store it. You actually buy ice for fish. You don't get them. Yeah. Yep. It's the worst that could happen. Catch a rock. Probably gonna catch a rock. There's a good chance I'm gonna catch a tree. We got a graveyard. This didn't work. <laughs> and that one's gone. Well, the is perfect. They just can't hit at least one. Maybe. Wanna catch a fish? I wanna catch fish. Bring him in. A rock. You caught a rock. <laughs> I like it. No jig, no nothing. Oh, the head. I guess they had Yeah. Bike. 37 inch walleye. It's me, man. Tiger musky. I cannot tell if I'm hitting something. I got that one. <laughs> Dang it, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is kind of a total bust. I'm 0 for 3, you're 0 for 0. I'm 0 for 0. Alright, we're moving spots. Huh? We, we're in Freeland. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I was with my boy Josh, he's a subscriber. Moving spots, nobody was really hitting anything there. So we're gonna try in Bay City and check the flow chart and things. We just grabbed some minnows, we're gonna change tactics a little and see how it goes. Hopefully we have better luck here than we had in Freeland. That was a bite. I just set the second pole down. Yep. It's got like a one ounce weight on it. There's no way that was bouncing bottom. Look at your hopes up. That was a big thump. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was a big boy.
I think I got it on right now. I think it probably a flipper. Sheep head. Might be a netter. We got one fish in today. We got another one coming. Well, shut up. Oh, they're about the same. Nope. Uh, I turned a Oh, you kept that hook out. I think there's a few, two of these in here. <laughs> there might be a couple in here. Curse, blow. Trophy fishing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's better than not fishing, I guess. Yeah. We got a floater. A tree. It's probably where it started. Another hogger. I don't know, probably, maybe. Oh yeah, he's big. Probably the same one. Drum. Big drum. At least we're catching fish now. Uh, it'd be nice to get on a walleye or two. But at least I'm catching something now. Feels good to bend a rod. That's what she said. Mallard. Poof. That was definitely fast food. Oh, man, it's chilly. Right. I want to catch a walleye. This is a big cat. Uh, I got two fish. What? No, just a big ass carp. I uh, side hooked his ass. Wonder if I can get it off. How the heck? Hey, came off. There's today's trophy. I side hooked a cart while I was jigging. You know, my technique is undeniable. That's skill. It's really the skill you need in this world. That's how you know you're setting that jig real heavy. You hook something right in the side. That right there was kind of fun. It was just a wiggling log. 
That is the nice thing about braided line. Letter E. Yeah, the only flex you have on your jig is just the rod bending. I'm glad we came over here. I feel much better now that we're catching a couple fish, even though they're junk. Oh, yeah. Hey! It's a fighter. Line. He knew it was there would be line for him. Yep, saw it. Nice size kitty cat. Pretty clean looking. Barking at you. Yeah, it's a spawner. Come up without a bag. Maybe not. That really does <laughs> Oh, no. You got a mess going on, John. Yeah, well. That's why you bring knives. Yep, sorted out. <laughs> Pretty decent This one's size. getting right around though. He's got leeches on him and groves. Kaplunk! Which makes you wonder if we weren't on the fish. Sometimes it's nice just to bail on your plan and go somewhere where you're gonna catch something. We moved to Saginaw River and just got on some sheephead and cats. That was wonderful. It's exactly what we needed. We didn't have a lot of time left and it didn't look like we were gonna catch any walleye. So it was great just to get out there and bend some lines and do a little more chatting before we had to take off and get out of there. And we did exactly that. Got a few right before we had to leave. 340. Yeah. Big thanks to Josh. He's been one of my first subscribers. We met him on one of our first ice fishing trips. He reached out and wanted to go after him. And uh, we, you know, he hooked into a couple. I feel like I missed a couple. Nobody around us was on anything. Pressure was weird. So we're gonna get back after it tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm glad we got on some sheephead and a catfish at the end there just to, just to be catching a fish, you know? So that was fun having him reach out wanting to take me out and do some fishing was fantastic it really makes doing this that much more worth it um, be sure to check out the website and follow us on social media I'm gonna be doing a giveaway check out that website look at merchandise we're gonna keep adding more things to the merchandise list so check that out and that's what's gonna be on the giveaway it felt so good to get out there and get some fresh air so make sure to get out there and do some adventuring for yourself and as always, be kind to yourself, and if you can, be kind to someone else.